The CC9 Commando, also known as a very able trooper CC9, is an elite multitasking special force unit of the Royal Malaysia Police. The VAT CC9 is based at Ulu Kintapera and together with Special Essence Unit, and they are part of Pasukan Gerakan Khas. The missions of CC9 Commando is to conduct high-risk tasks such as counter-terrorism, hostage rescue, intelligence gathering, and counter exigency within the borders of Malaysia. Prior to 1989, the CC9 Commando was primarily tasked with the war against communist terrorists in the Malaysian jungle. Today, CC9 Commando has much wider counter-terrorism and counter-insurgency role, but it still maintains considerable expertise in jungle warfare. Many of the operators are drawn from the Snowy Proc and Illustrating Unit, which is now part of RMP's General Operations Force. VAT CC9, also known as Task Force, Charlie Force, and Special Project Team, was founded in 1969, and his Model on the British 22nd Special Air Service Regiment as a small combat unit to counter the tactics and techniques of communist terrorists. The idea of an elite counter terrorist paramilitary police unit has originally proposed the Minister of Home Affairs and Internal Security, the Honorable Allah Yarham, to Dr. Ismail to fight the communist insurgency. In October 1969, 1,600 officers and men from the police field force applied for VET CT9 training of which 60 passed the basic commander training test. A group of instructors from SARS were sent to Fort Kamar, Pera to supervise the training of the first CT9 commander recruits. Only 30 police officers managed to pass and they formed the first nucleus troops of CT9 commander battalion. In 1970s, VAT 69 started its initial operations and was successfully deployed against the Malay National Liberation Army during the Second Malayan Emergency. VAT 69 was responsible for neutralizing a significant number of MNLA guerrillas and seizing large amounts of weapons and equipment. In 1977, three new squadrons were raised and trained by the New Zealand Special Air Service and a special course was conducted to train their own instructors. Its expansion program was completed in 1980 and VET-69 had fully equipped units with its own logistic department. In 1978, 65 officers and operators from VAT-69 were sent to Hua Hin, Thailand to be trained by instructors from the Parachuting Training Center of Border Patrol Police, Royal Thai Police. The course lasted for a month and their trainee learned to jump via static line insertion. On 20 October 1997, under then Prime Minister Mohadir Muhammad, and then Inspector General of Police Tan Sri Rahim Noor, the Royal Malaysian Police reorganized VAT Sitina and UTK under one unified Special Operations Command known as Pasukan Gerak Khas, Altos Amalgamated, into one directorate. They are essentially still to separate entities operating in two distinct operational environments. The same color beret was bestowed by 22nd Special Air Service when the original VET CD9 troops was founded and trained by such instructors. The sand colored beret then given back to the VET CD9 after the beret was officially accepted as an official head dress of VET CD9 on 18 December 2004 by the Inspector General of Police, Tan Sri Muhammad Bakri Omar. On 14 November 2006, for the first time in the history of Royal Malaysian Police, the maroon and sand colored bearers of PGK were honored as royal bearers by Yang Dipertua Agong Tunku Sheikh Sirajuddin Sheputra Jamalulail, the then King of Malaysia. There are four infantry squadrons in VAT 69 Commando with its own logistics unit, totaling around 1,900 members. Squadrons are split into a patrol teams consisting of 6 to 10 operatives lead by police inspector or superintendent of police. 
within each patrol. Individual members may specialize in sniping, explosive ordnance disposal, demolitions, communications, and as far medics. Previously, separate entities, both of Fed City 9 and the UTK, were amalgamated into the PGK Command on 20 October 1997 when it was launched by the 5th Inspector General of Police, Tantri Rahimno. However, Vet 69 and the UTK are still operational as separate units. The UTK is now officially known as Pasukan Gerakan Khas Detachment E, and Vet 69 has been deputized to Pasukan Gerakan Khas Detachment B. Based at the Royal Malaysia Police Headquarters in Bukit Aman, Kuala Lumpur, the PGK is under the direct command of RMP's internal and public security. The unit commander holds the rank of Senior Assistant Commissioner and is the Deputy Director of the Internal and Public Security Branch.